So about a month ago, I was looking for a gaming laptop that I could take for traveling. My brother-in-law introduced me to an HP Pavilion gaming, which at first I thought, no. But he bought the machine without telling me. Picked it up from him. I did some checks. For a machine that is 500, I gotta hand it to you. It runs perfectly well. I never thought somebody could find anything like this for $500. GTX 1050, three gig. That's a three gig card. And um, eight gig ROM, M.2, 256 gig, and a 256 gig SSD. Now, I've upgraded it to a two tera SSD. The operating system is still running on the 256 gig M.2 and I've upgraded the ROM to 16 gigs. You can upgrade it up to 32 gigs, but I only need 16 gigs. Um, currently, I only play uh, Warzone and I'm telling you, it runs perfect. You can tweak the graphic settings a bit. Charger has to always be plugged in to maximize the power. If the charger is not plugged in, the, you will realize the machine will be behaving laggy throughout the game, so make sure the power adapter is always plugged in while gaming. Otherwise from that, it's a good buy. If you're looking for a cheap machine, this is the unit you should definitely purchase. $500, I'm telling you, it's a great machine. I mean, you could build a unit that is pretty awesome too with the same 500, but you just want something portable you could take with you to go anywhere, do all your graphics work, your Photoshop, your Illustrator, After Effects, and still run some game on the side. I mean, it's a, it's a good deal. Uh, so far, it's been turned out good for me. Um, I do have a powerful desktop unit, but still, I needed something that is portable, light, and compact. And definitely think this is the unit. So if you're looking into getting something, you could definitely have a look at it. You could find it on eBay, you could find it on Walmart. There are different models. As I said, there are three specs. You could check them both out. If you, could, if you can afford the high specs, which is the RTX, 1650 or you can't afford that one i mean getting the gtx 1050 is also awesome just don't get the 2 gig version try to get the 3 gig version definitely you will regret it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe leave a comment if you have some feedback